Mr. Slate has put me in charge of the annual dog show, where owners bring their dogs to compete for the grand prize. Richard, all these dogs are so beautiful. How do you pick a winner? Well, Sue, there's tests in agility, skill and health and fitness. Oh. And then the best dogs win the prizes. Oh, what's that, Sooty? You're going to win a prize today. <laughs> I don't think so, Sooty. To win a prize in a dog show, you need a champion dog. You've got a champion dog. Oh, no. Stand a chance with that sausage brain. <laughs> oh, yes, we do. <laughs> oh, champ! More like chump. <laughs> you can't enter Sweet for this competition. He can't even fetch a stick. Eh? Oh, yes, he can. He can't, and what's more, I'll prove it. Fetch, Sweet! Fetch! <laughs> what's the point? I don't know, actually. Anyway, you're not supposed to argue with me. I'm your master. You see, a well-trained dog would have fetched that stick straight away. I told you, Sooty, this is hopeless. <laughs> now, don't fetch! Don't fetch! Don't fetch! Ha! <laughs> <laughs> ah, you see, sir, I didn't actually throw the stick. It, it wasn't me. It was a... <laughs> Hey, you see, he can fetch. Yes, he can. When he's not supposed to. Oh, Sooty, there's no point in entering Sweep into this competition. He needs a trainer. <laughs> You've got a trainer. <laughs> not that kind of trainer, you bone brain. You need someone to shout walkies and heal. <laughs> not that kind of heal, you bone brain. Oh, Sweep, shoo, shoo. <laughs> Hey, you'll be his trainer. Oh, Sooty, you don't understand how difficult it is. Sweep will never complete the doggy agility course. Just look at it. <laughs> hey, no problems. When it comes to dog training, you're an expert. You're the original dog whisperer. <laughs> Listen, I'll make you a bet. If Sweet wins a prize here today, I'll dress up as a dog and I'll do that doggy agility course myself. <laughs> it's a deal. Right, you're on. <laughs> oh, look, here comes our judge, Jeanette Crankett. Hello, Mr. Goodell. Hope all is tickety-boo with the old contest. What, what? <laughs> What's he saying? He said, can he enter the contest, please? Oh, yes. Splendid. What, what? <laughs> What's the little fella saying now? He said, um, can he enter the contest, please? Yes, we've established that. Enter the contest by all means. What, what? <laughs> what did he say? Why do you keep saying what? I shall not say what. I'm obviously confusing the little fellow. But yes, you can enter the contest. What, what? There you go, Sweet. Are you happy or what? Eh? What? <laughs> what, what? Don't you start. Right, Sooty, Sweep's in, so you better start training. And good luck. You're going to need it. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Cranky, where's your dog? Oh, he got sick. Oh dear. And I took him to the vet. Aye. And I got his tail jammed in the door. Oh dear. And then we sat down beside a man with a cat, and the cat scratched his eyes. Oh, what's his name? Lucky. Not very fun, Dabby Dozy, that, is it? <laughs> now, look at that dog sweep. See how obedient he is? <laughs> is it remote control? Oh. No, of course it isn't, Bone Brain. Sit. Yes, Sooty, let's start with sitting. Now, Sweep, the first thing Sooty is going to teach you is how to sit. <laughs> oh, not on a chair, Sausage Brain. Oh. Auntie, good boy. If only Sweep could do that. Well, let's try it. Sweep, we're going to try staying. So, you stay there, Sweep. 
till we call you. <laughs> stay. Uh, stay. <laughs> Where's he gone? <laughs> what? What are you doing there? <laughs> You're supposed to stay over there. <laughs> You don't like it over there. Why ever not? <laughs> there was a draft on your bottom. <gasps> oh, I'll tell you something, Sooty. You've hit rock bottom. You'll never win a prize with that daft dog. Ha-ha! <laughs> How's the uh, training going? Come on, Mr Expert, show me something. No beg. Good boy. Sweet will now demonstrate begging. Oh, come on then, Sweet, beg. <laughs> you don't know how to beg. <laughs> I knew it. Actually, it's very easy. Just watch me. All you do is you go down on all fours, put your paws up like this and pant like this. <laughs> what a good boy, then. <laughs> oh, Richard, he's been working like a dog. <laughs> And a warm welcome to Slater's Dog Show. We're very honoured to have with us this afternoon Senior Judge Miss Jeanette Cranker. <laughs> Jeanette will firstly be judging the health section. Tell us, Jeanette, what are you specifically looking for? Well, Richard. One thing is very representative of a healthy dog is an impressive shiny coat. Oh, I've just been told the next dog has a particularly impressive coat. <laughs> Get off! You're spoiling the whole thing! Go on off! No, not that way! <laughs> and for our next category, we'll be testing the dog's attitude to music. Watch this demonstration. was born to dance. You is Snoop Doggy Doo Doo. Agility. Oh, I've just been told the next dog is particularly athletic. to the official prize-giving ceremony. Remember my promise? If Sweet wins a prize, I have to dress up as a dog and do the agility course myself. <laughs> well, he won't win any prizes. Sweet, I love you, but you were awful. I'd be a very bad judge if I didn't go with this audience. And I've got a very special award today. Goes to the most entertaining dog. The winner is... Sweet! <laughs> Oh no! Oh no, no, Sadie! No. <laughs> oh, I understand we have a last minute dog performing in the main arena. It's Pink Chicken's Cadell! <laughs> Oh, 
Bye bye, everybody. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> well, that certainly gave me the giggles. But don't forget, the sand still trickles. <laughs> right. Our next letter is D. The letter D makes a D sound. What can we find around here that begins with a D sound? <laughs> you haven't got the foggiest idea? Brilliant. <laughs> well, thankfully I have. Look. Look where? There! Can't you see something beginning with D? <laughs> oh, sweet! You've got to learn your letters. You're looking for something beginning with D. D. Come on, let's see if you can get it. <laughs> got it yet, sweet? Can you see anything beginning with D? Anything beginning with D? D. Now, sweet, concentrate. Have you seen anything beginning with D? D. 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 Dino. D is for dinosaur. Well done. Now the letter D makes a D sound and D is for dinosaur. Right, Sooty, the next letter is the letter E, which makes an E sound. Now what can we see around here that begins with E? E, 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 E. Hey, what are you taking me, Sooty? Sooty, what are you doing? Sooty, what's the matter? Hey, oh, elephant. E makes an E sound, and E is for elephant. Brilliant, Sooty. <laughs> Don't make me jump, you and your magic wand. Hey, you can do other noises as well. Oh, go on then. Do you really have to do the smell as well? Now, the letter F makes a F sound, and F is for flower. Oh. Ah. Ah. Oh. 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 oh, sweet, thank you very much, dozy dog. Come on. <laughs> Keep on looking. Don't waste time. There's still lots more words to find. <laughs> right, Sooty, the next letter is the letter G, which makes a G sound. Hey, you think there's a gorilla around here somewhere? A gorilla? Ah, don't be silly, and I don't want any monkey business from you. But you are right, Sooty. G makes a G sound, and G is for gorilla. You think you've found the gorilla? Oh, yes, and where? Ah! <laughs> oh. 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 oh, Sooty, quick, our next letter. It's the letter H, which makes a H sound. Now, what can we see around here that begins with a H sound? Eh? Hey? Oh. Well, I can't see anything around here that begins with a H. Oh, no! Sooty! Oh. Oh. I get it. H makes a H huh sound, and H huh is for hat. Oi! You! I'm so sorry. I'm Makes an I sound, and I is for insect. 
It's not real, you dozy dog. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Spider! <laughs> the scene is in the depths of the South American rainforest. Our hero, the intrepid adventurer Indiana Sooty, has been captured by a mad gorilla who wants him for his dinner. How will our courageous explorer escape the clutches of doom? <gasps> With superhuman strength, Indiana Sooty breaks free. But will the growling gorilla bow to his supremacy and be armed with his trusty water pistol? Just when Indiana Sooty thought he had defeated the gorilla, another savage beast emerges through the undergrowth. What's that? <laughs> Oi! Will you lot stop messing around? I'm supposed to be running Mr. Slater's new crazy golf course. Oh, sorry, Richard. We couldn't resist it. It's like being in the middle of a jungle here. It's amazing. Yes. I'm not surprised there's hardly any customers here with you playing around. Come on. <laughs> oh, things are a bit quiet today, Richard. They certainly are, Sue. Oh, it's head office. It's Mr. Slater. Uh, hello, Mr. Slater. Yes, I am here at the Jungle Crazy Golf, but things are quiet. What? Get some customers or I'll get the sack. But... Oh, he's gone. Oh, what am I going to do? What's that, Sooty? You've got an idea. Everyone who gets to the final hole on the Crazy Golf wins a bar of chocolate. Hey, that should attract some customers. Yes, you're right, Sweep. Everybody does like chocolate. This idea could really work, right? I think we need to get some chocolate delivered, and I know exactly who'll deliver it. Let's call Matt Snacks. Oh, hello there. Yes, you're right. It's me, Matthew Corbett. If you don't recognise me, ask your mum and dad. You know, 25 years of being a television presenter, and now I'm a van driver. Life can be very cruel. Good morning, sir. Oh, gosh, you look familiar. Yes, and you look strangely familiar as well. Did we, uh, you, did uh, I, uh, did we, oh, did I ever... Um, I've got some chocolate to deliver. <clears throat> what a very nice man. Hello. Oh, hello. Can you sign for this, please? Gosh, you look familiar. Oh, don't you start. Hello. I look familiar. Oh, not you two. Do you know something? The last time I saw you two, I got squirted in the face with water. As a matter of fact, I got squirted in the face with water quite often. I hope you've got some new jokes. <laughs> At least it's not water. <clears throat> Thank you, I'll take that. There's your chocolate, I'm off. And this is why I had to retire. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Talk about a trip down memory lane. Bye-bye, <sighs> everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs> you know, he looks even more familiar with that pie on his face. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, go and collect your chocolate. <laughs> Hello, boys. Oh, business is booming. Mr. Slate is going to be really pleased with me. Do you know, giving chocolate away was a great idea, Sooty. How can I ever thank you? Well, how about giving us a chocolate bar? <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, Richard, can we? Can we? Oh. All right. <laughs> the chocolate! Oh, Richard, you scoffed a lot. I'm so disappointed in you. Oh, no, I haven't. Oh, no, I haven't. Prove it. All right, I will. 
watch this. <laughs> Hello? Is that the Yellow Bear Detective Agency? Yes, this is Richard calling from Slater's Holidays. And we have had a serious chocolate burglary. I need you to send over your two finest detectives. They'll be over right away. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, no, it's not you two, is it? You're from the Yellow Bear Detective Agency? Oh. You're Sherlock Sooty, and he's Dr. What's It? <laughs> Dr. What's It? What's the problem? Well, you know what the problem is. You... We've had some chocolate stolen, and I need to find out who's taken it. You'll look for some clues. Ah, now this is very impressive. This will certainly prove that I had nothing to do with taking that chocolate. What are you doing? You're going to take some fingerprints? <laughs> Whose fingerprints are you going to be taking then? What do you want me to do with this? Just open it. Just open it. Hey, this is what you call an open and shut case. <laughs> well, this will prove that I'm in it. Sooty, what are you doing? So, so, what, are you, what are you doing with that? So, what are you doing? So, Sooty, <laughs> I can't believe this. Having my fingerprints taken by the great Sherlock Sooty. No, we don't need another one, do we? We don't need another one, Sooty. <laughs> <laughs> So what does this tell you then? <laughs> I've got to wash my fingers. Well, I don't think this proves anything, does it? Uh, Sooty, what are you doing? You're supposed to be looking for fingerprints that match the thief that took the chocolate. I don't believe this. But what? It's me. It's not me. <laughs> Sooty, I am completely. What's going? Uh, Sooty, what do you need those for? Sooty, so Sooty, Sooty, this is getting dirty! <laughs> oh dear, I can't believe Richard would eat all that chocolate and then leave all this rubbish. Oh, yuck, what a mess. It's all over my paws. Oh, <laughs> another gorilla model. Gosh, I haven't seen this one before. Oh, oh, ah! This one's real and he's got I'm telling you, Sherlock Sooty, you've got the wrong man. I am not the chocolate thief. Ah, help! Help! Hang on a minute. Look at those paws. Oh, <gasps> covered in chocolate. No, Richard, no. I put it to you, madam. I put it to you, madam, that you are the chocolate thief. What? I'm not the chocolate thief. I've just seen a giant gorilla and it was holding a chocolate bar. <laughs> <laughs> you don't believe this rubbish, do you, Sherlock Sooty? You do? Eh? And you're going to set a trap to catch the gorilla? <coughs> but there is no gorilla! <coughs> oh, no, there isn't! I, I don't believe this. Oh, come on, Richard. I'll show you that I'm telling the truth. <sighs> There's no sign of a gorilla anywhere, Sue. Oh, honestly, Richard, he was just here. and I would have got away with it if it hadn't been for you lot. 
What on earth were you up to? Well, I was just monkeying around. <laughs> monkeying around, you get it? Monkeying around. I didn't like this stuff, he did. So have you eaten all the chocolate? No, of course not. It's here. But if I were you, I wouldn't eat that. Because it is off. Off? Off. Smell it. All right. <laughs> have a heart, Sooty. Wash him off. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm sorry, Richard. Another 25 years. You could be quite good at this. <laughs> would you like to do it? Can I do it? It would be a pleasure. Bye bye, everybody. Bye bye. 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 <laughs> your tea, Richard. Oh, thank you, Sue. Oh, hello. We don't know what's happening today, but Mr. Slater says it's something very important. Oh. It's the phone. It's Mr. Slater. Hello, sir. Do I know your old school friend, Farmer Francis? Yes, of course I do. Oh, he's a lovely man. He needs help with his animals on the farm, and you volunteered me? If I do a good job, you'll give me a slice of the business, eh? Oh, he's gone. A slice of the business? Richard, we could come to the farm and help you do a really good job, so Mr Slater will be extra pleased with you. Oh, yes! He said if I do well, he'll give me a slice of the business. Ooh. This could be my big break. Come on, gang, let's go to the farm. Hooray! <laughs> Farmer Francis. Hiya, Sooty. How are you, Cocker? Hello, gang. Hiya. I can't tell you how excited I am to see you all. In fact, ooh, I could crush a grape. Now listen, why don't you all have a good look round the farm so you know where everything is, and then we can all start working. I can't wait. Ooh, I could jump off a doll's house. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> You like my farm? I know. It's a knockout, isn't it? Right. First job. You three, go to the barn and bring the straw for all the animals. And Sue, will you help me to walk the ponies? Oh, yes, please. I love ponies. You do? Mm. Oh, that's brilliant. Ooh, I could jive with a jelly baby. <laughs> OK, everybody. Off to work. <laughs> Right, Sooty, we need to load this straw into this trailer. So when I tell you to, you pass it down to me, I'll put it in the farm. <laughs> Not yet. When I tell you to, you pass it down to me, I'm there. <laughs> Why didn't you wait for me to say? It'll take ages. what I call the final straw. <laughs> this is brilliant! In fact, I could crush a grape. <laughs> That's knockout, Sue. <laughs> What I'm doing. <laughs> you don't think I do? Ha! Huh, I'll show you. You're looking at Mr. Slater's next chief executive. Oh, yes, I'm on the way up. I've spent my life going round in circles, but no more.
what? Look at those little ones. How old are they then? Three weeks, Sue. How lovely. Oh, sorry, we were just uh, parking the tractor. Right. Now then, my lovelies, the next job. Sue and Sweep, you come with me to the cow shed. Okay. Sooty and Richard, you can feed the chickens. I know you're going to be smashing at this. I'm so excited. Ooh, I could wrestle an action man. Come on. <laughs> Right then, Sooty, let's feed these chickens now. When I tell you, flick the grain at the... the <laughs> Not at me. When I tell you to, flick the grain at the... <laughs> flick the grain at the chickens. Wait for me. Come on, I'll get them round here. Chick, 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 chicken. Chick, 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 chicken. Now, Sooty, flick the grain. Now everyone, meet Daisy. <gasps> Hello, Daisy. Hello. Hello. Right, old cocker. It's the last job. Oh, I want you to wash Daisy's udders, and when she's all nice and clean, then you can milk my lovely little moo cow. Oh, she gives the best milk ever, don't you, Daisy? <laughs> Ooh, I could test drive a Tonka. <laughs> <laughs> Right, gang, this is the last job, so it's got to be perfect. Mr. Slate has finally recognised my true worth, and all I have to do is <coughs> wash the muck off a cow. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> Very funny. You'll be showing me much more respect when I'm a top executive. Oh, Richard's becoming a right smarty pants. Don't worry, you'll teach him a lesson. Oh, good. Come on, Daisy, let's get you cleaned up. Easy, Weezy. Let's get busy. <laughs> Thank you. You'll be laughing on the other side of your face when I'm in business with Mr. Slater. Mm. Easy, Weezy. Let's get busy. So glad Mr. Slater saw the potential in me. He knows in the world of business I'm going to make a big splash. Look, is that Richard making a big splash? All right, all right. Get a move on. You'll soon stop laughing when I make it in business. Like you're in business already. <laughs> Hi, Farmer Francis. Daisy's milk, Farmer Francis, and we finished all the jobs. Well, thank you very much for all your help on the farm today, everybody. Now. Have you washed your hands? Yes. Good, because I've got something very special for you. <laughs> and Richard, Mr Slater, asked me to present something very special to you for all your hard work. Ooh, is it a slice of the business? You guessed it, Sunshine. You got it. A slice of my best cheese. And that is the business. Eh? A slice of the business? Is that it? Oh, dear! <laughs> Sotty said that's so funny, he could crush a grape. So could I! And so 
so could I. <laughs> bye bye, everybody. Bye bye. bye. bye.